so I have a whole presentation here that I worked on all day, and I'm going to throw a whole loophole into this. Um, last thing Shirley mentioned was that um, she was thinking of trying to get that Teamsters contract reopened for that one position to get the right. salary adjusted. Right. I'm hoping that you guys could keep me informed about that because when the deputy position went to a full-time position and i know this really doesn't have to do with my budget but this is that sparked this in my head um and i think that was back in 2012 or 13 i can't remember the yeah. actual year it never occurred to me to have her wage line in that teamsters contract adjusted so she's been working on a part-time uh, wage okay. um okay. scale they she did try to bring it forward to the Teamsters when they were doing their contracts, but they were more looking forward for a entire contract rather than individual items inside the contract. <coughs> so I'm hoping that if we can get that reopened or looked at, that maybe her position could be looked at as well to have that scale adjusted. Good point. And if, if we can do that, I would be willing to um, cut the raise that I've asked for here in half yeah. so that it wouldn't hit the taxpayers all at one time to have both. Okay. Um, and I know it's a, it, it's a maybe kind of thing, but I would be uh, willing to go ahead and do that, cut that in, in half tonight hmm. if that's a possibility. Okay. But so if so putting that half in here so are you saying that she falls in the contract she doesn't fall as a full-time employee she falls as a part-time the part-time um it was always a part-time position when it went to a full-time position the wage scale never adjusted uh, so it never changed it's still basically what it always was as a part-time position do we have a and maybe you could answer this, Fred. Do we have a, um, is there a different, in that contract, is there a different scale for? No, there isn't. It's all, okay. It's what they negotiated. Okay. So again, it's going it's to be a tough, yeah. tough nut to crack, but yeah. um, I, I think you have the board here that wants to look at that. Okay. I just think that. I would, I would appreciate even just to look at it you know um, along with Shirley's position as well we can you know if that if we have to wait the three years I would appreciate the board looking at it in three years you know when that contract yeah. is up so that this maybe is we could. so this is or is not a teamster it is a teamster it position. is a teamster is. okay yes because and Shirley is under the teamsters as well and Shirley's yes. people are under the teamsters Her people as well. are okay yeah. Not, not, not Shirley. Right, not Shirley anymore, but right. Yeah. Right. But her yeah. positions are under right. the okay. contract. Right, right. So All there right. are two departments now. That's a good thought. Yeah. So, okay, so based on that, I have um, made a couple adjustments here in, in my budget. And um, so I have six line items in my budget. One item stayed the same. That was my staff development. There's no change in that. In that. Okay. Um, Tax liens, we ha I have reduced that by a little bit based on what we've been using recently. That dropped by 200. Part-time wages, that's the wage that we would use if we needed to call somebody in if, if yep. the two of us happen to get sick or if one of us happened to get sick at tax time. Yep. Basically what that does, it gives me probably about two days of um, having somebody come in in case like say Vivian gets sick and it's tax day and, and I need some help. We haven't used that in the past few years, okay. so I have reduced that a little bit because I think that the two days would be enough to get by if yeah. if, if we needed it. Um, the other item that dropped would be my supplies and expenses. That's based on usage. The um, reason that, the, that there is a, now I think it's a 3% with the change in there is due to the wages. There was a contract for the Teamsters. My deputy fell under that. Um, she did get a $1,979 raise for, for 19. Um, and I am asking for a $1,730 raise. That's half of what I was originally asking for. 
which would bring my total budget to 106.093. Okay, good. I think it's a 3% increase. So you're talking uh, line 1300? Uh, yes. Yeah, I don't have she those is. numbers. I'm sorry. 1341 yeah. 504 1300. Yeah. 6% no. would be 3460, so half of that 17. Right, correct. Yeah. Excellent. Correct. Okay. So what would the. Christy? Do you have a. I don't figure? have a calculator. So you're taking 1730 from the yeah. elected official? Yes. Line? Is that correct? That is correct. So then I have 105,841. What did you say? Oh, I had 106,093. I go by you before, before I go by oh, me. I, <laughs> I didn't have a calculator. Well, I just took the 61,121 and minus 1,730. 1, it brought that salary line down to 59,391. Correct. Yep. And then that brings a total of 105,841. Okay. If you're not changing anything else. For Correct. Call, Nothing else is changing. 105841, Christy? Yes. Okay. And Good. so bottom line for the percentage, what's that make per percent? 2.07. Yeah. Percent. Thank you. Good. For the tax office. Right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any questions? Any? I guess no, I don't have any problem. All right. Very good. Good. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. you.